Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how can we decode the QR code in Cypress. Now, this is the web page that I've created. And when I decode this QR code, I will see QA box. Let's test. Of course, I'm promoting my channel. Anyways, so what are the steps involved in decoding a QR code using Cypress? So it's a very simple process. Number one, you have to download this image. How do you do that? So you identify the element which contains this image and you run the screenshot command. So you chain cy.get or contains whatever which will yield you this element and then you say dot screenshot. Okay, something like this. All right. Now you can give it the hard coded name, but I decided to give the title of this test case as the name of the image that we are going to generate using the screenshot command. All right. So once this is done, this is our step number two. What are we doing in here? Guys, once you have the image locally downloaded to your computer, all right. So you have to now run a program, a Node.js program, which is going to decode this QR code. Now it's a two step process. Guys, I've already created a video on uh, YouTube under this Node.js basics playlist. You have to watch part 17 to understand the code that we require. Now, what are we doing in here basically? So there are two steps that we are doing in here. One, we require the GIMP library. So for that also, we have a video in this playlist. So with the help of GIMP library, we process the images, right? Like I said, with the help of screenshot, we are going to download an image. So yes, you require a library to pass that image. Okay. So once the image is being passed, you get the buffer of that image. And now with the help of the other library, which is the QR code re reader, you are gonna decode what's there in this QR code. Okay. That's a very simple, straightforward process. Now, as far as the code part is concerned, whatever code that I have uh, written in here, guys, uh, if you open the description of the video in here, you would see the github link okay so here's the github link link and this is the code this is the only code that you have to write to decode the qr code available there in a file okay now uh, as far as the cypress code is concerned you will find the code onto this github repository all right great let's move on to the second part then so guys like i said we have to write a node.js program which means that we have to write the code in the plugin index.js file right so in the index.js I've already created a task. Okay. What is the name of the task? The name of the task is read QR code. And guys, this is the same code that I showed you. Okay. So I'm not going to cover this. I've already told you the logic. So go and check that video out. Uh, we come back in here. We said, okay, once the screenshot is generated, we use the then command. So after the screenshot is generated, then we want to do the decoding of that QR code. So we say cy.task and that will take in this, right? So that is the name of the task. And then you have to provide in the path of the file. Okay. Again, I'm generating this dynamically. Screenshot is generated at this following path screenshots forward slash then the name of the spec file So guys, this is how you can get the name of the spec file. All right, and then this is the name of the image Okay, so this is going to return me the value. Okay, so I'm saying then result All right, and then I'm comparing that the re result and I'm trimming out all the uh, leading and trailing spaces to be equal QA box let's test okay that's what we have to do so if I just run this test now let us see if everything works or not so guys you see this works all right let us also look at the image whether any uh, screenshot image is being downloaded or not so there you go so we have that the image of that div section in here Okay, so guys, this is how you are going to work with the QR codes in Cypress. Okay, now one important thing I would like to mention before I conclude this video, guys, this is a QR code and you might come across the barcodes as well. So this logic would not work for the barcode. Okay, for that, we have to use some other library. All right. So I hope you like this. Thanks for watching.